Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all different types of issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy J7 that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S. And as we can see, this device does have the Google account lock enabled because as we're going through the setup steps here, we get to the screen that tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically exactly what the Google lock consists of. Google added it as a security feature back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the buying and selling of used mobile devices these days. So when a device is factory reset without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model. And so we're making this video to demonstrate to everyone that we do indeed offer a service to be able to get this type of lock removed from this model device without having to have the previous Google login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And we had actually already done 99% of the work before starting the video just so that we can keep it as short and sweet as possible. So obviously, as you just saw, the device was on the Google Lock screen, and then we just did one restart to it. And now that all the steps have been done, as we're going through the setup steps here, we should be able to see that we can indeed get all the way through without running into the Google Lock. So we're just going to skip through everything here step by step. We don't need Wi-Fi, so we're going to skip that. And then we have to agree to the terms and conditions. And we don't need to set up the date and time, so we're just going to skip that. And we don't need a name, and we don't need a screen lock. The Google services. And we don't need a Samsung account, so we're just going to skip that too. And then, oops, one last T-Mobile screen there. And yep, there we go. Looks like we've got the home screen loaded up. We have access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So under the about section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy J7. And then that model number there, the J700T, is what uniquely identifies it as a T-Mobile phone. And I'm sure you saw the T-Mobile logo there when the device was restarting. So if you have have a Galaxy J7 originally from T-Mobile and would like help getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. If you hit that subscribe button while you're there, you'll also be notified of all the new videos and services that we constantly add uh, in the future, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.